Hello, beautiful soul. My name is Joy Labossier, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, and I absolutely love and have a passion for creating and guiding meditations. If you look here at my playlist, you're going to see some meditations that I've created solely for YouTube. You'll see some mini meditations that I've created for people who are busy and just don't have the time to sit for 20, 30 minutes. And I also have the soul family meditations. These are edits taken from my Sunday night live that I host on TikTok at 9.30 Eastern every Sunday night. This is a great way to find community and find a place where you can just be. The goal to these meditations is for me to provide a space for you to have your own unique experience. So get your earbuds, your headset, find your meditation cushion or your chair, and just have some fun. Release all expectation on what this meditation is supposed to be like or be for you and enjoy the ride. I hope you enjoy it and I love you. But let's begin. All right. Can someone help Ozzy 007, please? Mary, if you could. All right, beautiful souls. Let's begin. Tonight's journey, my intention is to create a space for you to step into fearlessness, is to step into more of your knowing as a soul and as a human. And I'd like for you to go ahead and close your eyes if you haven't yet. Find a comfortable position, a chair. It doesn't matter where you are. Just trust that you're in the right spot. And just try your best to just shake out any excess energy if you're feeling any. I like to shake my arms, move my head side to side. I like to crack my back a little bit, move my shoulders. Good. And as you get a little more comfy, I want you to know that you can't mess this up. You can't do it wrong. And I want you now to just bring awareness. All we're going to do is bring awareness to the environment that we're in, meaning your physical space. So wherever you are, whether it's in your bedroom, whether it's in your kitchen, your living room, in your apartment, it doesn't matter. Wherever you are, maybe it's a park bench. I want you to just kind of feel into that energy of your space. Just feel it. And then now bring your awareness to the sounds that you're hearing. And of course, you're gonna hear the sound of the music I'm playing, you're gonna hear my voice, but what about in your room? What about in your space right now? What do you hear? It could be your pets, your dog snoring, your cats running around, it could be your children laughing. You might hear cars driving by, sirens in the distance, But your, your space, your environment right now is beautiful and it's perfect the way it is. So even if you are hearing sounds, just know that none of these sounds will distract you. Nothing will distract you. This is your time and your space and all the sounds around you that you're hearing are just part of your universe, part of your experience tonight but you will easily stay focused on my voice and allow all the sounds to just fade into the background. And so we'll begin with something very simple. You've probably heard of this many, many times when meditating, we're just gonna focus on the breath. And we'll take seven deep breaths. We're gonna start in through the nose though, if you can. Seven of those deeper 
breaths, really trying to fill the belly as you breathe. Every breath you sink a little deeper into that position you've chosen. Good, just seven of those deeper breaths. And after the seventh, just let your breath just find its natural rhythm again. That natural flow. You might even notice that you're already beginning to relax more and more. Your muscles might be getting looser, feeling a little softer. Good. Like I said, just finding that natural rhythm of the breath now. No need to slow it down anymore. Good. So we're going to create something now using our imagination and our creative energy. I want you to just bring your focus to the, the crown of your head, right at the top of your head. As you bring awareness to the crown, see if you can start feeling energy there, starting to move, or get a little stronger. And as you feel the energy starting to build, it's a very calming energy. It might be very slight, but just trust it. A little bit of energy starts to move and it starts to circle. And it gets a little wider and a little wider at the top of the head. And this is a very calming energy. This spiral of energy, this wave of energy is pure calmness. It starts to move and spin, kind of circle around the crown of your head now, the forehead and the back of the head. And it's moving at this beautiful rhythm. And as it circles your head, it starts to move down, slowly down. Now closer to the eyebrow. And just circling all around from the back of your head to the sides to the front, just spinning around and it's bringing more and more calmness and it moves down even further just follow it at your own pace you can just trust the energy as it moves down your face just continuing to just kind of circle around your head and all the muscles start to just loosen up Wave of energy starts to move down around the jaw and the neck now. Bringing more and more calmness, more and more ease to the body. Moving down to the shoulders. The top of the back. The chest. Just, it's just moving around the body as it moves down, bringing more and more of that beautiful, deep, deep calmness to the body. You might even notice your shoulders starting to sag a little more as you release any tension. And effortlessly just continue circling the body as it continues moving down your arms, around your chest and your back. your stomach and lower back. The calmness moves into the hips now. Your glutes, your thighs, 
just this beautiful spiral of calming energy. Down around the knees, down around the shins now, the calf muscles. Your ankles, your feet, your toes. And that same circling, cycling, beautiful, calming energy starts to move up now from your toes to your feet and just follow it as it moves up and it might gain a little bit of speed. A little faster and as it keeps kind of moving up the body back to where it started, just follow it on your own. Trust your energy moving. until it reaches the top of the head again. And now that is going to continue on its own. You don't even have to be aware of it anymore. There's just this beautiful energy moving around you, bringing more calmness and more ease, more peaceful energy to your physical body, up and down, Again, no need to even be aware of it anymore. It just is. More and more relaxed. You might notice yourself just getting even more comfortable now, sinking even deeper now. Into your seat, your cushion, your couch, your bed. There's nobody needing anything from you, nobody wanting anything. This is your time, your space. So just give yourself full permission to receive tonight. Receive that calmness. Allow yourself, give yourself full permission to just be. Very calm, very relaxed. Good. Every muscle very, very calm now. Calmness just moving so effortlessly through your body. I'd like for you now to send some energy down into the earth. Send it by using energetic roots. Imagine you are a tree and you have these energetic roots that you can send down into the planet. It could be from the bottoms of your feet. It could be from the root chakra. These energetic roots can move down from your entire body if you wish. But just imagine you are connecting directly to the planet beneath us. Using these amazing energetic roots. You might even feel them moving into the earth. Feeling more grounded and connected. You might even feel more solid. And those roots run all the way down to the center of the planet. Connected to all that is. And that connection reminds you of your solid, how solid you are and how strong you are. And it reminds you how perfect this present moment is. And as you imagine yourself connecting to the earth, solid as can be, our next exercise, using our inner vision or just our imagination, 
you get to direct and watch the most epic movie ever created. And you're the main character. So you can imagine yourself sitting in a theater watching this big screen in front of you. But you get to be the director as you watch it. The most epic movie ever created. And you are the main character. And the first scene, trust the way you see it. If you do see it, great. If you don't see it, just imagine that you are. The first scene of this movie is you waking up on a Sunday morning. The most epic Sunday morning. Maybe the sun's shining through the windows. But you're waking up nice and easily yawning, taking a nice deep breath. And as your feet hit the floor, or even before, just as you awaken, you feel something very, very different within you. You feel something has shifted. The anxiety is gone. There's no overthinking. There's no worry. There's no anxiety in the body, no tension, no stress. You're not sure what happened, but you feel joy. You feel gratitude in your heart. You feel grateful for another day on this amazing planet. You feel such appreciation to wake up feeling so alive. And there's just no fear to be found anywhere. You just feel almost unstoppable. And as you kind of walk around the room, maybe getting your day started, you hear this, this inner voice, this very beautiful whisper. And you just know, you just know by intuition that this is your soul speaking to you. And your soul whispers all of the old limitations that you have held on to or that you used to put on yourself are now gone. All the old limitations that you've used to hold on to are now gone. any of the old fear. Any limiting beliefs about your capabilities, your gifts, your worth. And then you hear the words, you have become fearless. You have become fearless. This is your life without fear. And you start to realize in this movie that you are creating the absolute optimal and most powerful version of yourself. And the next scene of this movie cuts to the part where you start seeing your physical health. So in your mind now, create the optimal, the most, the healthiest version of you. Let your soul guide you. What does the healthiest version of you look like?
How do they feel? How do you feel? Being so physically healthy. And there's nothing impossible to achieve in this movie that you are creating. Whether you've had illnesses or disease, what do you look like now? What do you feel now in this inner version of you being completely healthy and cured? What do you eat as the healthiest version of you? What are you consuming? What are you letting go of? You are completely fearless in achieving this, knowing that this is absolutely the version of you now. How do you look? How do you feel? What are you letting go of and what are you, what are you taking in now? Feel it as much as you can in your body, as if this is you right now. What kind of physical things are you doing right now? Being the healthiest version of you, you could imagine. Feel, feel as, as if it is now. It is your truth. Strong and healthy. And the movie now shifts. It starts to cut scenes into the next scene. And the next scene, it shows just how clear you are mentally. In your ultimate movie, you being the main character, what does it look like to have just such clarity in your mind? What are your thought patterns like? What are your thoughts filled with? Affirmations. Thoughts of self-love. What's your focus like? How present can you stay? And again, feeling that in your heart, feeling it as it is now, it is true, how clear your thoughts are, how aligned your thoughts are with your soul. From the mental clarity, the movie cuts again to a different scene. And this is more about your spiritual self. How are you spiritually in, the, in your movie, in the ultimate version of you? And maybe spiritually, this is more about your purpose. What does it look like to live your purpose? Are you helping? Are you serving? Are you doing what you love to do? And this is much more than career, much more than your job, but are you doing what you love to do? Maybe that's more hikes in the woods or 
More swims in the ocean. Maybe it's more trips around the world, but what does the ultimate version of you, what are they doing to fill their soul, to honor their soul? There are no limits. Only you know, only your soul knows what lights it on fire. Feel the joy in your heart, feel the fun, feel the excitement as you step into this experience. You're doing what you love. Can you feel it in your whole body? Let it just move into every cell of your being as you see or imagine yourself just doing more of what truly inspires you and fires you up, fills you with joy. And the movie changes scenes yet again. And you get to step into the abundance that you are worthy of. And maybe we start with financial abundance. No matter what your old beliefs were, there are no limits. We step into financial freedom. What does that look like for you? What does your bank account say? What does your bank statement say? How much is in your bank account? And you might have old beliefs trying to creep in, but there are no limits to what this number can be. You are a massive master manifester. The ultimate version of you is worthy of it all flowing to you. So what number does that bank account say? What does your bank statement say? And now that you have this money, you have this financial freedom, what are you doing with it? Maybe start with yourself. What are you buying? What are you, what kind of experiences are you having? What kind of travel? What kind of food? What kind of car is in your garage? As you receive all this abundance, and you feel it for yourself, you also get to help out family or friends. How are, you, how are you using that money for others? How are you using it for others? Friends in need people in need, strangers, charities. Maybe you're changing different people's lives with this amount of money. Maybe you're helping them tap into this energy of abundance. But again, feel what it feels like. Don't just see it, don't just imagine it. Feel like that abundance is yours. Feel yourself helping others. Feel yourself changing lives with that amount of money or whatever you choose to envision right now, feel it in your bones, feel it in your cells as if it is truth now. And we move to the next scene now, having all this abundance, we move into relationships. We look at our relationships in our lives now with this, in our beautiful movie, we are the most, just the most aligned version of ourselves. 
What do our relationships look like? From romantic relationships to family to friends. How does it feel to have true aligned relationship, open, truth, truthful, honest conversa conversation? What do your relationships look like here? Maybe it's the love of your life that you're seeing. How does it feel to be living that? To have these beautiful relationships in your life? Feel it again in your cells as if it is already. It is your truth right now. This is the life you're living. And we move to the final scene here. And the final scene is now the relationship with yourself. What does the most beautiful relationship with self look like? What does it feel like to love yourself inside and out? Fully. Again, feeling that in your cells, in your heart. Where you just fully embrace your wholeness, your uniqueness, your quirkiness, your... Everything about you is just so beautiful. How does it look to fully embrace who you are? feel all that self-love just moving through you and now again feeling it as much as you can it is it is right now and if you choose to if you're ready to I want you to imagine walking into this version of you walk into that character that you were seeing that version of you on the screen or in the movie that you are directing. Allow yourself to just walk into that fully and embrace all those beautiful truths. Knowing that all of this is now. That this is the version of you. That you are self-love, you are love, you are worthy, you are enough. And allow that feeling, allow that feeling again to move in every single cell of your being. And take a deep breath when you're ready. 